Hi, my Vakundas. How are you? I hope you are well and fantastic and doing well. Happy Jampuri Day. And yes, I'm awesome. I'm awesome. I'm feeling awesome. I'm feeling fresh. Um, I woke up around 8, 7.30, 8, 7.30, then just stretching and uh, enjoying the cozy of the bed till 8 and then I woke up took breakfast and then I said I will read this book uh, by Oprah Oprah and uh, Bruce Perry about what happened to you it's talking about traumas the the behaviors and the traits that people do have but sometimes we don't get them we ask ourselves what is wrong with that guy what is wrong with that person how could you do this how could you do that you know and then it, now they are summarizing like some things or some behaviors it's not it's not really about what's wrong with the people but it's about what happened to them during their maybe childhood or um, during some parts or seasons in their lives that's what happens so it is really helpful and uh, i love it you should uh, maybe get a copy for yourself you also learn about yourself and what how you behave and you get to know okay some things are because of this and this and this yeah so anyway that was just a little catch up how have you been guys it's been a minute but i hope you're fantastic we are almost coming to the end of 2023 oh my gosh like how fast time flies oh my god it just passes under our noses and that's the tricky part about time sometimes you think you have a lot of time sorry about that sometimes you think you have a lot of time but actually every second matters every hour matters yeah and yeah that is me right now and just chilling i've read like an hour to it's around 11 so catching up uh it's been almost a year since i put dreadlocks not dreadlocks sorry but sister locks i love them sometimes i feel like yeah they're growing sometimes i feel like oh my god they're still in the same i'm not seeing the a big difference you know but i really 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 love them i love like i don't have that headache every every month of sitting and wondering what i'm going to put in my hair it's just the same thing and i love it so stress-free yeah so i'm just chilling i was doing my nails apparently i'm removing and doing some of my long long uh, oh let us just catch up sorry <laughs> about about your hair yeah so I think in the beginning, as I remove this, whatever, uh, and uh, just do a home pedicure and manicure, I don't know if I can I will do my hands, but uh, maybe we can catch up. We can catch up a little bit about how you have been your year so far. It's the 12th of December and maybe we can share we can share we can inspire one another we can laugh the things that have happened and laugh at ourselves you know or just catch up uh, give us the lessons the lessons that we have learned along the way and maybe look up to what we will do different in the coming 2024 yeah <clears throat> so the beginning of the year around i don't know it was around february or march i had come to you guys about making having a gratitude list and uh, sorry but i did not actually put them down on a diary but i have them embedded in my mind i can literally 
tell the dates but because of the and the events but because i've been just up and down saying i will do it i'll do it i'll do it which i will do it i promise i will to myself because it's so important looking to look back and see what the things that you've done your uh, god has helped you you have accomplished i still have to do it before 31st of december but for now i just wanted us to look at some of the small or big things we are grateful for you know so in my list of me i have a nail cutter i have this brush i have a cuticle remover i have this whatever yeah so i'm just going to cut so you can see and it's better if you can't see because the nails that i have <laughs> right now on my feet on my toes my mom will call them magembe, majembe. Yes, <laughs> that's what they look like. Magembe in Taita. Yes, but anyway. So the other yesterday actually, I was just coming from work, a bit tired, making some grocery shopping here and there. And then as I just passed, this like eight-year-old eight-year-old girl there were three of them one of them randomly popped into my path and told me hi auntie you look so beautiful i was like oh. <laughs> how like i was like even in my own you know i was in just my own state of just do this after this you do this just just very far in my head but this girl, the issue, and she was so sweet and smiley, eight year old, telling me, "Hi, auntie, you look so cute. You, you, you're so beautiful." And I was like, "Oh my God, thank you, thank you, sweetie, thank you, mommy. You're so cute yourself." And then they were so happy. They were, they were like taken aback because maybe they, they thought I would ignore them. I would pass them by. I would just maybe smile and get, and get going. But I just also took a moment. I almost stood for some seconds, minutes with them. And they're like, thank you, thank you, mama. Thank you. You're also so beautiful. And I was like, and then this, that was one. They were a group of three, but one spoke like that. And then because of that response, I continued walking. Then because of that response, I think they were like so happy. They rushed, like the other two rushed towards me. I just had this uh, sound uh, steps uh, uh, coming and then I was, they, they suddenly they, they reached me again and then each of them now literally said auntie you look so beautiful you look so cute <laughs> and i was like oh my god you're so cute yourself you have beautiful hair i turned to all of them and i wished i had some let me be sweet or candy to just give them but i didn't and then they were so happy and then they went away and then later on i was like oh my god this is so beautiful god like <clears throat> like children are just i love children i know i just love the innocence and the beauty of children and it's not the first time i've experienced this but always when when this happens when a child comes and tells me hi amma is telling you so beautiful i'm just complimenting you i'm so like oh my god they don't even know me i'm not their neighbor i'm not the their aunt or something but they still are courageous enough to to compliment a stranger see how the, the 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 world of a child is innocent and pure and i was like oh my god i wish i wish we adults we could adopt some of this very beautiful nature of children just being pure just being i know some people are, are like that but most of us are guarded i myself uh, included i'm very guarded 
i'm like i want to observe you first i want to see how you, the vibes you're giving me so that i, I know how i can approach you if I, we are friends enough i to compliment you you know so many weird not straight thinking i don't know it's not i don't want to say it's not pure because of course sometimes you also have to check uh the person you're talking to and their vibe and everything else uh, or if they're in their in their you know they're in in a state to uh maybe welcome you or something but it's just the the nature and the innocence and the beauty of children i'm like oh my god i think i should start doing that more that is one thing i'm very i was so grateful about uh, I was so grateful about I was like oh god thank you thank you for that I, I know yes of course it's not like I was looking for that compliment but it does something to you it changes something and it, you feel like oh my god mm, okay okay it, so God created me really beautiful and I don't have to 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 look for it I don't have I don't have to to put on some plastic image uh, or try to be full or complete in a world in in the in this world you know you are just complete as you are and people see the right people see that the people who have the right heart and the right they see your beauty it's not just about your looks it's not just uh, and it's not this superficial wanting to prove you have this you know maybe i don't know i don't want to 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 to, to speak negatively uh, because also putting on your your makeup is nice and it also feels nice but it's not a must i just wanted to say like it's not a must you're just beautiful as you are you know yeah so i just that uh, i was grateful for that grateful that god made me beautiful like truly like i was i, I was not f trying to force things and I was just minding my own and you know like God just makes made you beautiful like the way he says in Psalms 39, 139 I've made you beautifully fearfully and wonderfully made you know yeah so yeah that was something I was very grateful of and I pray those girls will continue to 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 be to have that heart themselves they're going to have they continue to they will continue to grow in that spirit to welcome people uh, just as they are they don't have to measure up to the to, to, to the world or you know when you get to high school you're like the, the these are the the groups of people the popular ones and then maybe there is some self-esteem issues you're not really there or you don't fit i pray that there will be these children who welcome who will welcome <clears throat> uh, all kinds of people the normal ones, the beautiful ones, the maybe the not so physically and uh, normal, you know. We need that in our community. We need that in this world. Welcoming those who are maybe disabled, those who are poor, those who are just loving, loving, you know, just loving, yeah. So I'm grateful for that and I pray that for them. Yeah, and I want to challenge us. Maybe we should... Uh, uh especially if you are the guarded one the, or the one who sees the flows you know always seeing the flow the flows of people you know it's high time maybe we are grateful for people for the just existence of people and love them yeah so that was maybe i will um end there just being grateful and um, grateful for the year grateful for the moments the events the time the people grateful for life grateful to god for him holding his hand you know always being there being steadfast being real uh, for the year for seeing this year for being alive so grateful for that i'm grateful for being here for the silence i love silence and i'm grateful for family of course friends friends who have come, become part of family uh, my family that is 
and for the provision provision through god of course and i'm grateful for having a peaceful for peace 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 in my heart peace in my life yeah and i'm grateful for what is coming ahead i know it is beautiful it is it has a plan there's a plan and it's full of hope and a future yeah so i think i will end here because i i didn't know this just talking randomly can take so much can can take uh, some minutes you know but i'm grateful for my hair i'm grateful for everything i'm grateful and i'm grateful for you my vacunas oh my god thank you so very much for joining me for forming this beautiful small cozy inspiring community here and i hope we have a fantastic fantastic holidays fantastic christmas it's all about jesus and we thank him for his life for coming into our lives and with that i'll say bye bye of course i'll see you before the end for the beginning of 2024 yes i hope so <laughs> bye